Hello, I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Product Finishing Magazine, and here's your top news from the finishing world for the week of January 16th. If you've missed a webinar that Product Finishing presented along with industry leaders this year, you can still watch them at pfonline.com. Products Finishing's on-demand webinars cover topics including electroplating, liquid and powder coating, electrocoating, anodizing, mass finishing, and cleaning. Go to pfonline.com and click the Enters button and then the webinar page to see the recordings that are in our webinar library. Apple has invented a specialized display coating for foldable iDevices. Patently Apple website reports that the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office published a patent application from Apple that specifies coatings that have flake pigments needed to protect the display of a device such as a future iPhone that is capable of bending in half without damage. National Surface Finishing Day on March 6 celebrates the finishing industry. Products Finishing is partnering with thousands of finishing operations in the U.S. to celebrate National Surface Finishing Day on Wednesday, March 6 to showcase the industry to local trade schools, businesses, officials, and the media, as well as to celebrate employees and staff. Facilities are encouraged to download material at pfonline.com to learn how to host an event that attracts tours from local students and businesses, and how to work with local news media on building awareness for the surface finishing industry. The Florida Finishers Midwinter Conference has now announced its speakers. The Florida Finishers Annual Midwinter Conference and Exposition is January 24th and 25th in Clearwater, Florida. The NASF's Jeff Hannapel opens the event with a regulatory update at 9.15 a.m. on Thursday, January 24th. Jim Collins will follow with a talk on the origins of regulatory rules for the surface finishing facilities. Visit pfonline.com and search on events to see more speakers. In our On the Move segment, Robert Bryant was named Chief Executive Officer of Exalto. Bryant had been serving as Interim CEO since October. He had been Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of Exalta since 2013. The company also announced that Sean Lannon had been named Chief Financial Officer. Our technical tip of the week is how to select the best anodizing seal process. Sealing of anodized aluminum is considered to be one of the most important of all the various steps in the anodizing process. And Coventia's Michael McGinty explains how you seal ultimately determines the performance of the anodoke oxide in its end-use environment. The innovation of the week comes from Nortson and its newly released Encore Enlighten powder coating gun. The Encore Enlighten is a safety approved accessory that adds an LED light to the capabilities of the Encore manual spray gun. Enlighten is designed to reduce rework, decrease the material waste, and eliminates the use of an unrated flashlight and other light sources that can create hazard for employees in a powder spraying environment. Remember, you can read all of these stories at pfonline.com and sign up for a weekly newsletter that will bring you all the latest finishing news and information to your inbox each week. I'm Tim Pennington with Product Finishing Magazine, and thanks for watching.